doubtless in ancient Athens, they thought the struggle between Socrates and his accusers was a vulgar power struggle, and maybe between Joan and the church was also a power struggle. Well, I think one of the issues was clearly the integrity of undergraduate education. Should a university be politicized from the top? Should we have, as it were, managers who run our university, but uh, don't, as it were, keep too careful an eye on where the contracts go? Uh, people who can be, as it were, counted on to, uh, to run an enterprise and hold its incompatibilities together where nobody knows really where it's going and nobody much cares. Is that is, can it be run by managers who don't have an educational vision? We, education is a matter of the future of the species. It's that important. Well, you speak of making the university a, a potent institution of the spirit, and yet in the same speech you talked of restoring the authority of intelligence and reason. I'm wondering, in our culture, if spiritual matters and intellectual matters aren't somehow separate, uh, can the university make them one? They are indeed separate. They've become... I mean, fatally divorced, and nobody really believes in the spirit at all. And all I'm proposing to do is to uh, make uh, the university a, a home for, I think, spiritual feelings that now have no place to go. When the founding fathers created this country, they thought the, the church and the family would take care of the spirit. But nobody could have seen, foreseen, you know, how those forces were going to be eclipsed and the rather ominous concentrations of wealth and political power. And, well, students, I think, very often when they think they're making political demands, are really making spiritual demands. You, you've said that the universities are serving the specialized interests of government and business and industry. And those specialized interests, actually, in the graduate school are taking over the whole university. That the humanities are actually being stifled in the college. Do you think that the university as a whole is almost becoming obsolete? That, in fact, colleges and graduate schools should be divorced from one another instead of continuing their marriage within the framework of the university? Well, I'd like to see us practice a little genuine pluralism. Uh, the one great blessing of American education has always been that it is essentially pluralistic. That we have universities, colleges, church-related colleges, and uh, in fact, we've made the situation more and more monolithic. So indeed, I would like to see some kind of uh, significant separation of, uh, of function. And you... you